Kate Crane here with another video for the Gel Press Printer Project series. Now in this video you're going to see me using my 8x10 gel plate and my art printing texture plates by Caravel Studio. I'm going to be using these in a slightly different way to create lots of pattern and colour on the plate so I can build up these multiple colour prints and it's kind of a foolproof way of building up all of this colour without making mud. When I've completed my prints I'm going to be showing you how I put together this patchwork effect. Now you don't have to sew, it's always optional, but sewing is a great feature on your pages if you're feeling brave enough. So come and join me, let's go make some colourful multiple pattern prints and then we'll make patchwork. Thanks for watching. I'm using my 8x10 plate today but any size plate will do for this. Um, I've gathered up some acrylic paints I've got my junk basket and I've also gathered up a selection of art printing plates by Carabelle Studio. I'm going to use these in a slightly different way today. Usually the most obvious way to use these is to put paint on the plate, use these to pull off the paint and you're left with the kind of negative image. What I'm going to do today is put paint onto the plates and use them for printing directly on. That will give me a patchwork of pattern. It also means I can use a um, different pattern and build it up all over. And it's also a great way of building up lots of different colour without making the dreaded mud. Uh, put a bit of paint on the brayer, made sure it's evenly spread. And then I'm just going to add it to a little section. I don't need to cover the whole thing. Okay, different plate and different colour. And another plate and another colour and I'm just also trying to bend this plate a little bit as I place it down so that I don't end up with a solid square. So I've got my, my base layer of pattern down now I'm going to add to that with these tubes um, I've got bottle lids, this is a bit of that plastic mesh that you can sew through, shelf liner, a reel, and I'm just going to build up that pattern, I'm going to stick to colours that I've used, but I might also add some black and maybe some metallic gold. to add um, a thin layer of paint now to pull all of that pattern off. If you use a Titan Buff or a white then you'll keep those true colours. If you add a pastel shade you'll obviously get that light colour behind it but either of those will work to lift off the paint and the pattern on here. And there's my first pull so you can see all of my different patterned areas. Now I've got a quite a bit left there so I'm now going to do a second pull. Right, take two. I'm going to use some different colours and I'm going to add some additional layers at the end so look out for those. <laughs> 